it is easier for a woman to feel her body, so she is naturally closer to being and potentially closer to enlightenment than a man. This is why many ancient cultures instinctively chose female goddesses. In this short video, I will tell you about Eckhart Tolle's view on why they were goddesses and not gods at the beginning of everything. And if you don't know me yet, my name is Marilda and I stand for matriarchy. <laughs> no, I'm not crazy or maybe just a little bit. What I mean is that I firmly believe that this world is not equal at all. And we have to change things. Now, it is finally time. So, if you want to be part of this movement, subscribe, comment, like, share, take action and support me in that mission. Now, I'm reading The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, a mind-blowing book. And I had another aha moment as he explains so clearly and so straightforwardly why there were matriarchal communities at the beginning and what happened then to have patriarchy. Eckhart Tolle says that goddesses were figures to represent the formless and transcendental reality. The goddess was often seen as a womb that gives birth to everything in the creation and sustains and nourishes it during its life as a form. Now let's jump to China in the Tao Te Ching, one of the most ancient and profound books ever written, the Tao which could be translated as being, is described as infinite, eternally present, the mother of the universe. As you see, naturally women are closer to it than men, since they virtually embody the source or the being. At the end of their cycle, all creatures and all things must eventually return to the source, all things vanish into the Tao, it alone endures, says the book. Since the source is female, the goddess has two aspects. She gives lives and takes life. This connection to the source or to the being, or in other words, to our inner spirituality, was the beginning of humans and lasted for quite a long time. But then, patriarchy happened. <laughs> How come? According to Eckhart Tolle, the mind took over, and mind is not the same as intelligence, okay? So the mind took over, and humans lost touch with the reality of their divine essence. And then they started to think of God as a male figure. So society became male-dominated, and the female was made subordinate to the male. The energy frequency of the mind appears to be essentially male. The mind resists, fights for control, uses, manipulates, attacks, tries to grasp and possess, and so on. This way, the traditional god is a patriarchal controlling authority figure, and often seen as an angry man who sh you should live in fear of as the Old Testament suggests, for instance. This God is projection of the human mind. And if you ask me, this is not good, and we see the results, this world is imbalanced, is unequal, aggressive, and therefore always ready for war. Just think about the war to conquer another country, or more recently, the energy war, the health war, the geopolitical war, the cold war, you name it. And to go beyond the mind and reconnect with the deeper reality of being, we need different qualities. Surrender, no judgment, an openness that allows life to be instead of resisting it, and the capacity to hold all things in our loving embrace. All these qualities are much more closely related to the female principle. To explain better, the mind energy is stiff and rigid. Being energy is soft and more powerful than the mind. The mind uh, runs our civilization, but being is in charge of all life on our planet and beyond. Being is manifested in the physical as the universe. And women are potentially closer to it, but men can assess it 
within themselves and they are open to it. So that's why I support the idea of returning to the earlier female representation of the divine and to matriarchy. And if you like this idea to subscribe, comment, share, help me. Thanks for watching and see you on another video about women. <laughs> Ciao!